What's going on everybody? Brandon Havrilla from Red Max Entertainment coming back at you today with a gig log. Um, this is the second gig log on my channel, so that's pretty cool and exciting. And it's actually not a DJ gig log, it's more of a production gig log for a concert that I'm doing this Saturday. Um, so it's currently Thursday at about 2 in the morning. And um, for some reason I have a lot of energy and I felt like doing these lights. So I'm working on programming, addressing all the lights for the show, for the concert. Um, so right now I'm in my basement and studio and I'm rigging up this I-beam trussing um, with American DJ Mega Pars. I'm doing six of them across the truss. I'm going to do two aimed at the audience and then the other four aimed at the band. I've also got the brand new American DJ um, profile panel RGBA. So it's got amber as well, which is a really cool fixture. That's going to be washing the band. It's got the LSF filter in it, so it gives it a wider um, beam angle. And that's going to be about all the lights for this I-beam trussing. Now, basically, the concert is right up the road from my house. So I am going to make uh, probably two trips in my van to the concert site. First trip with the sound system and all my gear. Second tri trip, I'm going to come back, excuse me, for just this I-beam trussing. So I'm pre-mounting all the lights. Um, and I'm pre-wiring all the lights in this I-beam trussing. So when I get there on Saturday uh, early morning... I can make the second trip with this, already have the tripod set up for this, and then just sit this on, plug, uh, you know, give it power and DMX at the end of the I-beam trussing. So I'm trying to cut down on my setup time there on Saturday so I have more time to program, mess around, and get some footage for you guys. So anyways, that's what I'm doing. I'm also prepping some gear back here. I've got my speakers and some lights that are going. Um, I'm starting to pack stuff up and get ready for the weekend. I just finished addressing all the lights and programming some last minute stuff. I'm planning on running four moving heads, uh, two truss totems, uplit with pars. I'm going to uplight the tent that we rented for behind the band. Uh, I got sidewalls, so I'm going to uplight that. And uh, I've got a whole bunch of these washers on the stage too. Um, I'm also going to be running a new um, Chauvet DJ Hurricane Haze machine. It's the Haze 3D, pretty large hazer. Um, and I'm Right now I'm debating on bringing the 2.5 machines too uh, to put on a really kick-ass light show. Sorry, I totally forgot to film actually when the tent company was coming and when we were building the stage deck. So I'll kind of show you what we got back there now and uh, let's take a look. What's going on everybody? So I'm checking back in now at the event. It is currently 5.17. So it's currently 5.17. Show starts around 8 o'clock. Um, as soon as the sun sets, we're going to get started. This way the lights look kick-ass, but we're going to get started right now with uh, a walk around of what I've got here, what kind of gear I'm rocking. So check this out. So currently I'm in the tech tent. Behind me is the stage there. So here's the tech tent. I'm going to show you what gear I'm rocking, and then we're going to take you to the stage. So I just turned on the 350s in a basic Hollywood type effect. I've got the Intimidator Spot Duos doing a similar Hollywood effect, just white uh, pans and tilts all around the room, figure eights and stuff like that. I've got all the pars right now set to red. As you can see, a nice red wash. And once it gets darker, this whole place will be lit up. All right, so here's the tech tent. I've got my front boards. Uh, I've got all my empty cases and bags here. Right here, I'm rocking the Pioneer SX2 uh, DJ board just to spin some tunes in between uh, with the MacBook Lacey hard drive. Uh, I've got my moving head case there. Here's my, uh, it's a Behringer mixer. Um, it's got six mic inputs, a few line inputs, and RCA. Uh, above that, I've got the Obey 40 controller, not actually using it this gig, it's just in that case. Then over here, I've got my light rig, um, which I'm currently programming some stuff in my DMX3. That's controlling all the pars, the washes, and the InnoSpot duos, um, which I'll show you in a second. The 350s up there on the truss is being controlled by the Show Express computer. I just haven't had a chance to reprogram everything yet. As we walk out of the tech tent, as you can see, the wires are a mess before you guys kill me in the comments for that. This is a stage setup and it doesn't start till eight. So it's gonna be black. No one's gonna see any of the wires anyway. Um, also, it's not a wedding DJ setup, so I'm not that worried about wire and cable management. I just wanna keep it clean so people don't trip. So here I've got the Chauvet DJ Hurricane Haze 3D, uh, large professional hazer. Um, the remote next to it actually goes to a small Hurricane 700 haze on the other side 
uh, just to kind of fill the difference. I've got the Mark Color Max bars all across the back. So I've got one there. Uh, the one in the truss is an ADJ Mega Park Profile Plus. Then I've got two more Marks, uh, another ADJ in that truss, and another Mark. As I mentioned before, up on the truss we've got the Intimidator spot. Uh, we've got some Samsung um, stage monitors. Here we've got the Inno Spot Duo right in front of the kick drum, so I can do some cool effects with that. Cage and the drummer with all the moving heads. Uh, another stage monitor. Here's the other Hurricane Haze, the small one. Up here we're rocking the EV EKX 15 inch powered tops. And over there we've got a subwoofer powered 18 inch sub just to give a little push because I am putting the kick, kick drum, sorry, kick and snare through the PA. Then up on my light truss here, I'm rocking um, six of the American DJ Megapart Profile lights, not the plus model, so they don't have UV. In the middle, I've got the brand new American ADJ Profile Panel, which is an LED panel. I've got the LSF filter on it to kind of give it a wider dispersion on the band. And as you can see the light rig here, I've got two of the pars on the outsides turned around to hit that kind of like the audience uh, dance floor area. The rest of them are all on the band to light up the band. So here's the setup. And as I mentioned before, there's the profile panel. As you can see, the LEDs are quite blurred out. That's because of the filter I have on it. Um, very cool profile panel. Review coming soon, so stay tuned to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, it's a very cool new upgrade to the old profile panel. It's rocking PowerCon connections, three pin DMX. Uh, it's got amber in it. It's got the gel filter slot, so a lot of cool new upgrades. So once again, that is the profile panel, the brand new RGBA one from American DJ. Alright, so a uh, little recap on the gig. Um, it's currently Sunday, so it's the day after the gig. It was last night, Saturday night. Um, we started around 8 o'clock and we ran to about 11. I was going to shut the music off at 11 for the local like um, noise ordinance. Uh, everyone has, was having a blast. I ended up DJing about the last half an hour. Um, and everyone was having a lot of fun and there was just a lot of songs I still wanted to play. So I just started doing uh, some quick cuts and just playing, you know, so many seconds of each and uh, played till probably about 10.15, did a last song, got everyone singing together. We were out of there around 12.45 for this big production setup, which is not bad at all. There was three of us cleaning it up. It went really well. Everyone had a lot of fun. Um, like I said, I ended up DJing the end of it, but we had performers. Uh, all in the beginning and I was playing music and kind of DJing in between the performers too just to fill the space um, There were a lot of people there. I'd say close to a hundred at one point um, 
So there's a lot of people there, kids and adults and stuff. Um, so it was a lot of fun. Everyone's enjoying it. Um, as I mentioned, it was the backyard concert, as you guys saw. Um, a lot of cool light programming stuff. I did play in one of the bands. Um, we actually went on <clears throat> second, and then I got to kind of sit back for the rest of the concert, enjoy it, and uh, run the lights. So that was pretty cool. As you guys just watched, I had a lot of cool footage of the lights um, as well, so you guys can kind of see how we roll. I wanted to get some time lapses of the setup and takedown, but this video is already getting long, and uh, to be honest, I totally forgot the video. So, anyways, thanks for watching this gig log. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up down below. Uh, if you saw anything you liked or you have questions about anything you saw in the video, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll be sure to respond right away. Once again, thanks for watching. Everything changes.